CBC's Hannah Thibodeau has more. Well, we can now tell you who those two uh MPs are who have been suspended from Liberal Caucus uh, for allegations of harassment. And you have to remember that these are just allegations. The two MPs, the first one is Scott Andrews. He is from Avalon uh, in Newfoundland and Labrador. He was first elected in 2008. The second uh, Liberal MP who has been suspended is Massimo Pacetti. He's from Quebec, from St. Leonard, St. Michel, not far from Montreal. The two have been uh, have been removed from the Liberal caucus currently. We're not 100% sure if they are going to be permitted to return to the House of Commons, to sit as independents. Those are questions that we're still out there asking. Now, they have been suspended immediately. The issue, though, has been sent to the Speaker's office, Andrew Scheer to deal with this. This is uh, because there's no established process for dealing with a situation like this one. And it may sound odd that there is no uh, mechanism in place to deal with it but this is to deal with complaints that happen between members so allegedly there is another member who is complaining about Mr. Pacetti and Mr. Andrews now uh, what they've asked for is to get a neutral third party to help deal with this but also they're calling on the board of internal economy to deal with this issue and establish that process I was just talking about of alleged misconduct against other members of parliament. We do know that uh, liberal leader Justin Trudeau will speak at 12:30. Definitely this will be the focus of that, but he was telling his caucus about this when they first came in a little bit earlier. So two liberal MPs immediately suspended from the liberal caucus. Still a lot of questions swirling, but we should get more details when Justin Trudeau speaks. So what are you watching for next or, or listening for next? Well, we're watching for exactly what those allegations entail. What was the harassment? How many people does this include uh, that have accused these two Liberal MPs? And will they continue to sit in the House of Commons as independents? Those are a lot of questions that are being asked. And then also, what about the process to deal with it? The fact that there is no process in place to deal with complaints between members is something that is quite interesting. The Senate does have a process in place. However, the uh, House of Commons does not. So they're calling on the Board of Internal Economy to deal with this and deal with this immediately. But also, those two members have denied the allegations against them, but they're still not permitted to sit in the Liberal caucus until these issues are dealt with.